Michael. Thank you, Mrs. H. Welcome to the midweek shave, to the Wednesday shave. How are you doing? You all right? I hope so. Right, I was getting this um, some products for this midweek shave. Uh, one in particular, the Barbasol. I'm going to use that today. And I thought I'd turn it into an American shave, really. So everything I'm using is American products. Now then, first of all, this is a shaving cream from the USA and this is the original um, very inexpensive over there uh, the dollar dollar fifty whatever um, not as inexpensive over here but um, if you can get it uh, always wanted to try it because it's an old American shaving cream and uh, Barbasol before 19 pre 1950s uh, Barbasol came in tubes but uh, in 1950s they started to can it all and and you'd think this type of stuff is made for the multi-blade shavers not necessarily because as I say this was canned in the 1950s when these things were around you know there was no multi-blade cartridge razors then however I suppose I'm not sure maybe they've altered the ingredients how they make this to make it um, more multi-blade cartridge razor shaving friendly I don't know but I should think the scent and everything is the is uh, the original now I'm not sure if you shake it or not or whatever but I'm going to um, there we go so that's the American shaving cream no brush no lather today that's the only thing I'll miss but that's nothing negative on the cream American razor Gillette slim adjustable one of my favorite vintage razors um, inside a made in the USA blade persona this is the uh, persona double edge prep blades the sort of medical blades and hopefully if I can show you it says there if it shows made in the USA now some persona like the persona red those are made in Israel so um, I take it these are made in the States because sometimes they're license to other from the states to other places say in egypt to make but um not going to confuse it we're using a med prep blade and it's as i say it says made in the usa slight overhang on this it is an adjustable twist to open butterfly opening um and i'm going to use it on setting four 4.5 would be halfway so four is near enough halfway there so it's a nice uh, medium aggression steady um, shave so I'm just going to wet the face and then we're going to apply the shave cream and I've never used it I don't know what it smells like I don't know what it's going to be like so I do I um, like the scent on the sh the brushless one and this is a brushless in a way but uh, you can lather this up with a brush if you wanted to where the other one you couldn't but I'm going to apply it as it should be applied now some people have said they make a brush to clip on the top of this or something and it comes with a cap so here we go Barbasol thick and rich shave cream original I've been dying to try this you can see that Whew, that's soon there Wow, look at, well that's impressive for a start. That is, oh that's beautiful. That feels absolute, <laughs> hey, I like the scent. Wow, I never expected this to come out like that. Can you tell? be a bit messy this like uh, holy smoke like ice in a cake wow I'm very impressed with how thick that came out now okay it's got stuff in it that makes it do that um, probably names I can't pronounce 
but I'm not here for that. I'm gonna, I just want to try it. I'm not saying, right. Wow, way too much. I'm gonna taste nice. Now I love the scent. Uh, it is like a classic soapy scent where you'd expect. Really, really nice. <laughs> I didn't expect all that to come out. As thick as that, that's fantastic. Right. I'm gonna heat the razor up. And here we go. I'm gonna go to the moustache area first. Now this lather feels, well it is very thick and creamy. Very nice. But as we go, and the good thing is it doesn't gunk up like a shaved gel would on the uh, razor. That's what I was thinking as well, but uh, not very good. So here we go. First pass, Gillette. Slim adjustable. Med prep blade, brand new. Oh, I love that scent. That is nice. I didn't know what I expected. I knew it'd be some sort of classic-y scent. And it's not, it's, it's delivered that. Mm, there's no, that's surprising. There's no slickness left. Hmm. Now you'd think that would have been so thick and creamy. I thought it'd been a bit slicker than that, but There's no issues with, how can I put it? The razor glides over it. There's enough cushion in, if you like, uh, lubrication um, or slickness for the pass you're doing. So it's meant to be applied, shaved, and that's it. As I say, it's not an expensive cream. So, uh, but there's enough lubrication, glide, protection to do the pass so far from the first pass. Be interesting to see. God, I love that scent. I mean, probably you're thinking, well, it's nothing special, it's just a soapy scent but it's nice I like it yeah I'm trying to try this amazing you Americans probably think God, I wouldn't use that yeah you can get it to a penny it's like me with palm olive to a penny loads of it about inexpensive yeah. but it's good stuff um, you know so we'll see Got the stuff everywhere. I'm gonna see now if it's maybe I'm too early to judge it. We'll see if it leaves. There's no slickness there. Wow. See? <laughs> Sell that. Well, the Americans know what it smells like. So it's done the job. Lather out of the can, first of all, is one of the best I've ever seen. You've never seen nothing like it. Thick and creamy. From the go, from the go. Maybe I wouldn't like the ingredients. I don't know. <laughs> that makes it do that. But um, I don't feel any irritation. And there's no, there's no sort of uh, irritants in it for me. Very nice. Lovely scent. Um, works well on the shave and the first pass, but no, yet yeah, so no slickness. So go for number two. Not going to put so much on this. Time. You watch this. 
Wow, <laughs> that's so precise. Look at it. I don't know if it shows on camera. It's like in the UK, if you got double cream, the stuff you eat, whisked it into this, it's a similar. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, scent is lovely. That's enough. So you don't need a lot of it because it just explodes. Right, pass number two Gillette Slim Adjustable Persona Med Prep Blade uh, setting uh, four. So just under the half. So here we go. go across the growth. Now that felt, yeah, and see the remnants of soap there. So the rays are actually glided over it then. So. Again, there's enough um, yeah, look at that. there's enough for uh, glide. I wouldn't say slickness, but there's enough slickness for the for the job. It's not like a there's no sort of remnants left there, like a one of the higher quality soaps or uh, other soaps. You might get. Here we go. see oh no no <laughs> there's no slickness at all but then again you must remember you can't say oh that's rubbish it's not rubbish it's a it's an inexpensive cream what do you expect it although it should do its job safely which it is doing it's enough I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing now just that's how I am, but uh, it's okay. Does the job. Very nice. <laughs> so that's that one. Right, we'll be able to pass number three against the growth. Warm again. It said that we're going to, or maybe having, is it from July, a three month heat wave around the 30 degrees C. But uh, we'll see. I think it's going to change, um, well, today, Wednesday, uh, wet or something, but the gardens need it, I tell you. <laughs> and the farmers say, yeah, we need the rain. Right, pass number three. I'm learning now, you don't need a lot of this. One thing that strikes me, out of 10 you're going to think, wow, this is the best shave cream you've ever used. You apply it, beautiful scent, easy to do, you don't need a lot, even though you have to go back to the can obviously on each pass. Um, 
once you've shaved that's it it's gone there's no remnants no slickness but um, that's what it is that's what it is but very nice glad I tried it and I'm enjoying it as we say it does the job nicely okay against the growth here we go you ready So as I say, this is a made in the USA razor. Um, Gillette Slim Adjustable. Persona Double Edge Prep Blade, made in the USA. I hope it does say on the, probably is, it's made uh, stated on the um, blade, so if it wasn't made there they could be done for well over here they would be done for misleading advertising but uh oh yeah i'm smelling this nice a lovely scent i like it you should imagine bathrooms all over the america would have smelt of this at one point uh, right and then Barbasol, obviously, made in the USA. And the um, three products after this are made in the USA. Now, there's enough slickness, as I say, for this. Mm, there's, there's a slight bit of slickness there now. Yeah, it's slightly better on that third application, but otherwise it's uh, there's not a lot there. But as I say, don't judge it because it's not an expensive soap, so it's not meant to be all bells and whistles. But as I say, even if it's an expensive, it should be should do the job, which it is doing. Lovely, lovely scent. Yeah, classic. Uh, now I know the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD Cease and Desist, is it? Cease and Desist, who based their scent on the barbasol. Now for someone who's never um, used barbasol, didn't know what it smelled like, there is a resemblance when I think about it. But I think the um, the cad is stronger, but it's not quite the same, but there is a, as you, you can tell it's related if you like, it's been based on it. Um, that is very nice right what time is it ladies and gents boys and girls and cats and dogs it is the USA version for pickup time <laughs> oh, look at this it's like a bruise from that neck head. It's like a like a reminder. <laughs> right, pick up time. And no nicks, so that's a good sign. God, I'm really glad I tried this and impressed of how it comes out that can so precise. <laughs> there it is. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Should have some Elvis Presley on he's American. Are you lonesome? No, I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, pick up time, here we go. And yet when you shave like this, 
it's almost too thick. So you could add water, but I don't want to add water to it because I prefer sort of a thicker, creamy. If I add water, there's going to be absolutely no slickness. This water will sort of inside that we'll try a bit. So that's been wet, right? Oh no. <laughs> I prefer the glide after the No, it's not meant to be wet down. I'm enjoying this. And funny enough, I usually miss the lather process and the brush thing, but I don't know whether it's the excitement of using this for the first time, but I haven't missed it in this one. I'm really enjoying it. Not I probably wouldn't like to do this way all the time, obviously. Um because lathering up with a brush and just it's part of it for me. It's, Now, I don't recommend doing this, there's no, as I say, there's no slickness, so I'm just using the water, really, but um, I just want to, very gently, on cue again. Yeah, you can try the scent later. No, they don't make it for cats. But it is a shame, yeah. But they make dreamies for you. Oh, she loves dreamies. <laughs> right, I did say I wasn't going to make out if I can talk to a cat. But they don't answer me back, you see. Well, she does. Rinse off. Very nice, lovely, hey they're nice, love these colours, these sort of, uh, what do you call it, lavender colour, purpley sort of, very nice. <laughs> Look at this, oh, you've always added all these, haven't you? Maybe, or you would have noticed maybe looking behind me, but it's a nice surprise. Because I love orange. Right, next American product, please. Thayer's lavender, there we go. Lavender coloured flowers. Lavender scented Thayer's, very nice. As always, very nice. Now, aftershave of choice is a Pinaud Clubman Special Reserve. Don't worry about the bottle, I do that decanted into these. When I bought those um, Pinauds, I bought the Special Reserve Citrus Musk and the uh, Club, was it Bay Rum? Um, I, Bay Island, I, something like that. Yeah, Bay Island. Yeah, you know the one I mean. Um, and I put them into glass bottles, which I bought off eBay. And don't ask me for the link, because I can't remember. <laughs> They're just like a screw top. Um, does it say under there? Carefully. They're around the 200, 250ml bottles, uh, like a brandy type bottle. Large, so you have to be your finger over the top. Made in the USA. Oh yeah, this, this, I bet you this is what, 
I don't know why, just imagine Americans smelling of this years in the 50s maybe. Beautiful. Was it around then? Yes. Good grief, yes. That is lovely. Ooh. And then, to put on after that, there's a clue. We're going to put the after. <laughs> after shave. Skin conditioner, after, by Menin. I was going to use this, you see, as well. That's by Menin, uh, American made, but uh, skin bracer. But I'm going to use this today as a... There we go. Don't need a lot. Of... There's a slight sort of pea green colour to that. Wasn't sure how that would mix with the uh, special reserve, but that's, oof, that's slick, that's lovely. Only put out a little bit. That's beautiful. So, we'll have a roundup of, uh, of the shave, shall we? So, have a look. American Shave Barbasol. So, we've used the Persona. Oh, God, here we go. Blade. We've used the Gillette Take Two, the Gillette. Somebody said I should leave the outtakes in. The Gillette Slim Adjustable, made in the USA. One of my favourite vintages. This. Then we've used the Med Prep Persona Med Prep um, blade, brand new, very nice. As I say, made in the USA. You can see that. Um, Lovely. Barbasol. Very impressed, to be fair, to think of the cost of this. Um, the quality it comes out in amazed me. It's just there and it's just this thick, creamy, really nice textured lather. When you apply it, you think this is going to be fantastic. The shave itself is good. There's enough, well, I don't really call it slick. There's enough cushioning and glide to do its job. So you don't feel the blade is not sort of, you know, it's not sort of letting you down during the shave. There's a lovely scent to it. Um, but once you've shaved, there's absolutely no slickness. There's no slickness at all um, with, a, with that shave cream. And then, as you added it, I thought maybe it'll leave. It'll get better as you go. But slightly on the third, maybe, but no. It's. Um, I would happily say there's no slickness to that, but there's enough glide and cushioning in it to. Um, oh, they do razors. Look, multi blades. Did not that. Anyway, there's enough glide and slickness in it to do the job. So it's done its job, and I'm happy. Um, Love the scent, as I say, love the lather. Uh, really fun shave, glad I've tried it, love the scent. Um, fantastic. Then we rinsed off with water and we used the Thayer's Lavender. And then we used Pinout Clubman's Special Reserve. <coughs> and then the After by Menin uh, Skin Conditioner, really nice. Soothes irritated skin. Well, I didn't have irritated skin, but uh, there's a nice scent of that as well. But that's coming through beautifully, which is nice. And that's what it's all about. There's no issues, no cuts, very comfortable, no irritation. So it worked well. Very pleased. Glad I tried it. Well done, the USA. So that's it. I'll leave you in peace. Um, I've got another one of these to try in a future shave, which is the aloe version. Uh, so that would be interesting to try. Um, yeah, I'll leave you in peace. I hope, you're a, I hope you're in good health, good spirits, and I hope you have a good week, good shaves. And um, you take care of yourselves. I was thinking, you know, that uh, I'm lucky that you view these videos and that every week, and you take care of yourselves. And thanks very much. So um, I'll see you now on Sunday, uh, which is Father's Day, isn't it? Yeah. So if you have a father still in this world, tell him what he means to you and tell him how much you love him. Uh,
very important. I wish I could do that to mine really. But uh, you can't, once they've gone, they've gone. But uh, yeah, special day, Father's Day. And uh, we may do a uh, shave in my father's, well I will do, it'll be in my father's honour. As I usually do. So I'll see you Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.